Lotus Palm. Are you thinking about moving to Boca Raton and you want new construction? Well, Lotus Palm is the hottest new construction in Boca and I'm talking about it today. What's up everybody? It's April Laura, your Florida realtor right here in South Florida and in Boca Raton talking about Lotus today. And if this is your first time to my channel and you want to know everything there is about working, eating, sleeping, playing, and living in Florida and in Boca Raton, then make sure you tap that subscribe button and ring the little bell so you're notified every time I do a new video. It's pretty much all I talk about. I love helping people relocate to South Florida and educating them about what it's like to live here. My team and I have special in relocation and we'd love to help you and answer any questions but we can't do that unless you give us a call send us a text shoot us an email somehow get in touch with us because we've got your back when you're moving to Florida now let's go talk about Lotus Palm Lotus Palm is located in Boca Raton off of Glades Road in between Lyons and the Turnpike. It has been selling for the last six or seven mo months and it is 50% sold out already. It is the sister community or the second community from Lotus, which was the original new development by GL Homes. GL Homes has been building in South Florida for decades and decades and decades, all up and down the South Florida region. They're a huge home builder. They have a very well-oiled machine. They know what they're doing. They know what product sells in Florida. You kind of know what to expect, which is great. So I would say that they're one of the more well-known builders and really good builders. And that's why their developments sell so readily, so easily. They have pretty much taken over that whole Lions Road area. Back in the day, they did the bridges, Seven Bridges, then Boca Bridges. So Boca Bridges is located right across the street from where Lotus, the original Lotus, went up. At that time, Boca Bridges was all the rave and everybody was buying in there. I don't think they really wanted to kind of show up Boca Bridges. Although Lotus is a great community, it's a more modern feel. So Lotus was really their first transitionary development where it was more like that modern, modern feel. So all the homes there are more modern style, no more of that like Spanish or Mediterranean look that was popular for, you know, a couple decades, starting probably late 1990s and early 2000s. Well, it wasn't always old. So now we've shifted over and people just went crazy for Lotus. Their prices escalated during the pandemic, just like all the other prices. And they now have their sister and you know, bigger and better community, which is called Lotus Palm. So Lotus Palm is going to be a development that is down the road. So different location and they have been selling for about six or seven months. They are now 50% sold out already, which is crazy. And they're having their grand opening on May 6th. Well, last Friday, they had lot releases because they weren't sure what was gonna be available especially in the ballet collection. Now, there are two collections in Lotus Palm, which is very similar to basically almost all the same homes as Lotus, except for I think at least one I know because they do have, they have one single story that is, it was not offered at the, the original Lotus. For the most part, they have pretty much all of the same floor plans as the original Lotus. It's down the street, located off of Glades Road and in between the turn Pike and Lions Road. Now this is going to be have a much grander entrance and I would say they're also going to have I think it's going to be a larger bigger like amenities area plus a restaurant and cafe which is great so if you're there during the day and you want to grab some food or have lunch there you can do that you can go up just to the cafe or restaurant at night to have some dinner so that's going to be the main difference is obviously the, the location and then that addition of the restaurant cafe which is great to have without having a membership fee that is mandatory let's go let's go let's go let's go you will have just the hoa fee which is you know normal in these communities 
and you're gonna have some great amenities. They did have some lots available in the Fiji collection, but it's the Bali collection, which is a little bit of larger lots, and that's where, you know, the Bali collection homes can be put on. I think there's always been like a lottery system for them, and we were expecting a lottery system for the Bali lots. They were actually expecting to have six lots released last Friday. They ended up getting 16 lots in the Bali collection that are opened up now for the lottery. In the Fiji collection, I think it's like a lot, like 30 lots. So Fiji collection, if you're interested in that collection, you shouldn't have a problem. I don't think it's gonna be a massive lottery for the Fiji lots because there's so many available, but the Bali lots are the ones that are, you know, the hottest commodity. I do have clients that are interested. So what you have to do in order to get on the lottery or, you know, try and secure a lot in the Bali collection is basically, obviously, give me a call, send me a text, shoot me an email. I only deal with one salesperson there. They have a bunch of salespeople there, but I really love the girl that I deal with. She's amazing and we have a great relationship and we have been able to just take really good care of our clients that I bring her so I always go back to her last Friday the lots were released and in order to get a lot you basically have to send in a $10,000 check so it won't be deposited or anything like that it's just so that you can be on the lottery and then once the lots are released they basically are going to have a hand-drawn lottery so they you know put all the names into the spindle spin it pick out the names and if your name gets called then it needs to be ready as far as like which lots you like you know like what's your first choice second choice third choice they'll work with you on what's available because you're just going to get allotted like a number there's 16 lots so if your name gets called are you number one are you number seven are you number 15 whatever it is and whatever lot is available by the time your number is called then you can pick the lot so obviously if you're number one and you have your number one lot you get the pick of the litter but if you're number 15 then you're just going to have to deal with whatever you have and if you don't like any of those lots that are left unfortunately because we asked this question like what if you wait to the next lottery system for a valley lot would you be like number one for that they don't do that. They do try and keep it as fair as possible. I mean, it's probably hard. Like it depends on whose perception of fair it is. What they do is they just start fresh again, the next lottery, and you have to kind of go through the whole process again. That is what's happening. I will definitely bring you some new footage of when we go to the grand opening, which is not this Saturday, next Saturday, May 6th. But in the meantime, let's go check out some of these models and let me give you more information on everything that is available at Lotus Palm. So going over to the GL Homes Lotus Palm website, you can see here model grand opening. That's what I'm talking about, May 6th and 7th. And here are, you know, the models. You're gonna see all kinds of great photos and videos of the amenities, the drive-in, which is supposed to be really gorgeous. Here's the map. So north, this is north. So you are, this is up against the turnpike, but what's great about it is that this is the ramp from the turnpike. And so, which means these homes are gonna be way more offset from the actual turnpike than the ones over here. And they, I'm pretty sure they're gonna do a barrier wall. So once this is all filled in, you won't be able to hear very much at all. Now, Fiji collection starting at 1.1, Valley collection starting at 1.5. This number I know has gone up to 1.2. It was 1.2 to 2.5. It is now 1.2 to 3 million in Lotus Palm. They also did a $10,000 price increase on April 17th. So the prices did go up. So no shortage of buyers or, you know, selling in Lotus Palm. Here's another air map of where it is now. The entranceway to Lotus Palm is gonna be really spectacular. As you can see on this map, see the drive into the community is much longer. So they've utilized that by making a really gorgeous entryway. Definitely check out some of these videos. You can do that on your own. A staffed gatehouse, beautiful water features, over 26,000 square feet of clubhouse. So check out all of these renderings of the clubhouse, everything that they have to offer, resort style pools, lap pool, fun zone for the 
kids, group training, great gym, indoor multi-sport complex, yoga garden. I mean, the list goes on and on. A bunch of tennis courts, pickleball, all kinds of really great thing. Now here's a little card salon and then the Palms Lounge, which is really nice. You're gonna have a lounge to go to, restaurant and cafe. So very contemporary style living here. It is gonna be in West Boca Raton, but gorgeous, gorgeous homes. Here's the Fiji collection and the Fiji collection has home size set with standard lot sizes from 50 to 135 feet. You can check out the floor plans there. I think the most popular one, I do have a walkthrough of the Polynesia. And then the Bali collection, the standard lot sizes are from 62 to 128 feet. And I know that the Santo Grand is a very popular floor plan. I did walk through the Santo, which you'll be seeing in just a minute. And then the other one that is very popular is the Maldives. Those are the two most popular that I was told in Lotus Palm for the Bali collection. Now the Lake Premiums, they go in the Bali collection. They're probably around 60 to well over 100, close to 200,000, depending on the type of lot. In the Fiji collection, you might be able to get one without a lot premium that's like, you know, not on a lake, but they go up to like, you know, 25 to 30, I think, thousand. So that's on your lot premiums. Again, let me just go over the deposit requirements. So it is $10,000 to reserve just for a reservation. And then if you do go into contract, then you need to put 10% of the base house price plus the lot premium. So 10% of that. And then when you do do your options, right? When you pick your options, it is going to be in the Fiji collection, 33% up to 100,000 of options. Upgrades as far as options require 33% deposit up to 75,000 in the Fiji collection, but it's 33% up to 100,000 in the Bali collection. And then anything over 100,000 in upgrades, you have to pay dollar for dollar. So those are kind of your pricing and prices as far as how to get into a contract. Let's go check out some of these beautiful walkthrough homes.
But in order to find that perfect place that you may be thinking of or wanting to go see, make sure you give us a call, send us a text, shoot us an email, somehow get in touch with us because we've got your back when you move to Florida. And until next video, I'll catch you later. And I'm hmm, property and I'm t hmm, hmm, having its grand, hmm, um, what's it called? Whose, whose 